Feeling lonely? It might be more serious than you think. In a recent report, U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy warned us that loneliness can damage our health. About half of the adults in the U.S. have experienced loneliness, but for some, this can be like smoking 15 cigarettes a day, and can lead to serious health problems. These include heart disease and mental health problems. Dr. Murthy explains that loneliness is a signal from our bodies, similar to feeling hungry or thirsty. It indicates a need for social interaction, which is extremely important for our well-being. Sadly, the problem has become worse over the years, particularly for young people between the ages of 15 and 24. This age group reported a 70% drop. In time spent with friends over the last two decades, this problem was even worse during the COVID-19 period, when it was much harder for people to connect with each other. To battle this problem, Dr. Murthy is calling on everyone to take action. He wants schools, workplaces, and community groups to help people feel more connected with each other. Hello, everyone. Welcome to English for You. I'm Mike. I'm Trickling. And we're looking at an article about something that's actually pretty serious. Here we have one of the most sort of well-known, famous, powerful doctors in the world talking about people feeling lonely. That's our title. Feeling lonely? It might be more serious than you think, because we all feel lonely、uh, different times of our lives, and a lot of us think, "Oh, I'll just get out of it. I'll just, you know, something will change." But if you feel lonely for a very long time, it can actually affect your health, not just your mood. So, you know, we're going to talk about mood. Do you sometimes feel lonely? Ah,、uh, I'm kind of okay with myself. I don't mind my, you know, I I enjoy my own company. Yeah,、I、but you know,、tell. if it's more than a day or two, then yeah,、mm. eventually I would for sure. Um, and you have to recognize that and take steps to try to change that situation. Right. Because just hoping it will change or waiting for it to change might not be the best idea. So let's get into the article. Feeling lonely? It might be more serious than you think. It says in a recent report, U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy warned us that loneliness can damage our health. There you go. The U.S. Surgeon General is chosen by the American president. Usually, they come from like the army or the navy. And they're kind of like the country's doctor. They're giving Americans advice on good health, exercise, eat your vegetables, don't smoke, you know, stuff like that. So、uh, when they say something, usually we should pay attention because it's pretty important. And so this、uh, Surgeon General warned us that loneliness can damage our health. To warn someone is to basically tell them about a possible danger. Something bad that could happen that they might want to avoid. I'm not saying it will. I'm not putting you in danger. I'm just saying, hey, it's raining outside. You should bring an umbrella. Or hey, you should put on your helmet before you start to drive your scooter because something bad could happen. I'm not making you do it. I'm just telling you to do it because I'm trying to help you not get in trouble. For example, the sign warns swimmers about sharks swimming near the beach. Well, that's a good thing to warn people about. 嗯哼，所以 to warn someone 就是去警告你哦。所以啊、呃，这个是动词哦，我们的名词就是 warning。所以像我们常常看到的警告号，这英文就是 warning signs。比如说 ，tired drivers were found to be particularly prone to ignore warning signs。所以在近期的研究中呢，呃，这个公共卫生署长呢 ，Vivek Murthy 他警告，孤独是会损害我们的健康的。It's well. Sometimes it's kind of hard to avoid being lonely because you just feel that way. It is absolutely. It's also kind of a silent disease, right? Because、yeah. you can't really tell when people are lonely. That's part of the reason they're lonely. They're on their own. But it's quite common, as we read. About half of the adults in the U.S. have experienced loneliness at different times of their lives, to different levels. But about fifty percent of people have felt seriously lonely at some time.、Mm -hmm. 所以呢，其实你知道呢，在美国哟，其实有大约一半的成年人都经历过孤独这件事情。Hmm. All right. So you might just think it puts you in a bad mood or whatever. You'll meet your friends tomorrow. You'll feel better.、Mm -hmm. But we read. But for some, this can be like smoking 15 cigarettes a day, and can lead to serious health problems. 
So yeah, f- smoking 15 cigarettes a day, you would think that's going to make you unhealthy in some way. Well, being lonely all the time can be just as bad and can lead to serious health problems. Like what? Well, these include heart disease and mental health problems. Yeah, again, cigarettes will give you heart disease. Everybody knows that, but loneliness? Yes, loneliness can also give you heart disease, maybe make you more likely to have high blood pressure or heart attacks. And also, this is more obvious, mental health problems because mental health is、uh, of the mind. When we're talking about your mood, how you feel, if you're blue, if you're happy, if you're sad all the time, you know those types of things. Not physical health. That would be your muscles and your bones and your body.、Um, mental health is, you know, often harder to fix. You can't just take a pill and suddenly your mind is happy or something like that.、Right. That's not a way to do things. So mental health is just as important. As physical health, and it's getting a lot more attention these days. For example, we have this the sentence: the homeless man also had mental health problems and needed help to get his life back on track. So not only is he poor with no home, he's also got mental health problems.、Oh. Um, so he needs a lot of help to sort、wow. of be back to you know normal, as、mm. we would say. So mental 就是精神上的哦，心理上的。好的，相反词就是 physical， 生理上的。但是我们今天讲到的是心理状况嘛，所以我们都会讲 mental disorder。这个就是精神失常的意思。比如说 ，the family has a history of mental disorder 啊、哦。嗯、mm,。所以对于某些人来说呢，其实就像每天吸十五根香烟一样，就会导致严重的健康，包括心脏病啦、啊、心理健康问题。All right. So loneliness is more than just a mood. In fact, it says Dr. Murthy explains that loneliness is a signal from our bodies, similar to feeling hungry or thirsty, or maybe like pain. Right? If a part of your body hurts, you're like, ah, my muscles hurt. There must be something wrong. Well, loneliness is kind of like your brain saying, "I'm I'm hurting because I need people, I need love, I need a hug,、uh-huh. or something like this." So, just like we would pay attention to feeling hungry, thirsty, feeling pain, we should also think of loneliness as a signal. In this case, a signal is a sign or kind of a warning sign too. A signal could be something that's getting your attention and saying, "Hey, look over here," because if you don't. You might regret it. Something bad might happen. If someone is waving their arms at you as you're about to cross the street, that might be a signal that a truck is coming and you didn't see it, or something like that, right? So a signal is basically an action or a movement or a light, possibly a sign, and it's telling you information, probably important information. For example, the company isn't hiring new employees, which is a signal that it's not making much money. In this case, it's a sign. It's information that is there to see, but maybe they don't explain it with words. But you have to look, pay attention. And then you will understand. Hmm. So signal is what? It's a sign. 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 It's And then we read it loneliness. It indicates a need for social interaction, which is extremely important for our well-being. Absolutely, it is extremely important for everyone to be around others, to be around friends, loved ones, family. When we use this word "extremely," we're just saying "very" or maybe even "very, very." We're just sort of emphasizing how big or important or whatever something is. Here's a good one. This past summer in Taiwan was extremely hot. It was very hot, or even very, very hot. This is true. That's、mm, true. <laughs> 那我们这边看到这两个字哦，这个第一个字 interaction， 它就是交流、互动这个名词哦。动词是 interact。所以呢，呃，像是我们可以讲 to be inter-、uh, to interact with someone or something， 就是去跟谁互动。比如说 ，partners must interact with each other's ideas. You guys should talk to each other. No,、oh, yeah, absolutely.、Mm-hmm. That's extremely But, important.、Mm-hmm. 哎、hey, ，对 ，extremely important， 因为这也是另外一个字，它就是非常的意思。那么它它的形容词是 extreme， 代表非常的极度的。所以你也可以说 extreme heat may cause changes in the body
。OK， 那么 well being 什么意思呢 ？Well being 就是一个人的福祉，一个人的安康，这个是我们人生中很重要的一件事情。All right, now of course people have been feeling lonely for hundreds or thousands of years, but probably because of technology. As we read, sadly, the problem has become worse over the years, particularly for young people between the ages of fifteen and twenty-four. Yeah,、Ooh. absolutely. Social media can kind of make you feel like you're not lonely,、mm -hmm. but if you're still sitting by yourself in your bedroom, you might be feeling some kind of lonely, and it might be even harder to get together with friends. Because everyone else is on social media, so yeah, I think as we've、uh, moved more online and less,、uh, you know, more away from meeting people in real life, this type of loneliness has gotten worse. Worse, especially for young people. It says this age group between 15 and 24. This age group reported a 70 percent drop in time spent with friends over the last two decades. So this is a long-term study. They've been looking at it for two decades. A decade is a ten-year period. It can be a nice, neat ten-year period, like the 1990s or something, the 2010s, from 2010 to 2020,、uh, which actually would be 11 years. But we often think of it that way. Or it can just be any period of ten years. I spent a decade in Australia. I was there from 2014 to, or sorry,、uh, 2004 to 2014 or something. A ten-year period of any shape or size. For example, Lorenzo studied snakes and lizards in the Amazon for more than a decade. He must be some kind of doctor or professor. Oh my goodness, that's a long time. It is. So, this decade is ten years or ten years of time. So, if you think about the past ten years, in the past ten years, you can also say in the last decade. This problem was even worse during the COVID-19 period, when it was much harder for people to connect with each other. To battle this problem, to battle loneliness, Doctor Murthy is calling on everyone to take action. Yes, we definitely have to battle this problem. To battle is basically to fight or struggle against something. Of course, you can battle against an enemy in a war. You know, battle with swords or something like that. But you can also battle against lots of other things. It means you're fighting against something. It's not easy. You might battle against、uh, falling asleep. When you're trying to study, you might battle against boredom. When you're sitting in math class,、uh, you might battle against your friend on a video game in a more fun way.、Um, you know, so when we can, when we battle against, you might battle against your desire to eat one more piece of chocolate、Ooh. because you're trying to be on、yeah. a diet. So you're doing these things. It's not easy. It's a struggle, and you feel like you're fighting against something or someone.、Mm -hmm. For example, Hank spends his evenings battling against players from around the world in online games. Okay,、wow. so that's a virtual computer game battle. Well, I hope he wins.、Mm -hmm. So to call on someone or to、uh, to call on someone to do something, what does it mean? It basically means you're asking people、okay. to do something. Usually, a big group of people, possibly people you don't even know, right?、Mm -hmm. So we're calling on people to be more careful with their recycling. We're、right. calling on people to donate money because there was、mm -hmm. a a big earthquake in you know somewhere and、yeah. they need a lot of help. So it's basically a public appeal, a public announcement for help.、Mm -hmm. So usually, if we use take action, it means that we need to do something. So、mm -hmm. you know, I've heard that、uh, saying:、mm -hmm. actions speak louder than words. Yes. So we have to always do something. Take action. Don't be lazy. Get up. Do something. Contribute. Try to make a change.、Mm -hmm. So you cannot detail language and focus. Let's take a look right now. Okay, today we're going to talk about in order to the use. This is for purpose. So, we often use it in a sentence. That sentence can be like the government plans to cut taxes in order to stimulate the economy. So, we can also say what we mean by it. We use it in a sentence. In order to stimulate the economy, the government plans to cut taxes. <laughs> so, if you want to express a negative, then you add the not in order not to do something. So, for example, in order not to do something, he turned his attention to the television. So, for example, in order not to do something, he turned his attention to the television. Hmm. That's、All、a good、right. idea. Okay. That's, that's a great idea, I guess. Battle, battle 就是跟谁奋战。老师刚刚讲很多很多，就是 battle against something or someone， 就是跟谁抗争。所以我们也可以来讲，刚刚是打游戏嘛。我们来讲 ，the mountain climbers had to battle against great difficulties， 因为要爬很高嘛。Mm. 好，那我们刚刚又看到 call on someone to do something， take action。
，要求谁去做什么，采取行动，这些都是我们英文很常见的片语哟。All right, so this is clearly a big problem, a problem maybe a lot of people didn't know so much about. But the Surgeon General of the U.S. wants us to try to fix the situation. So what can we do? Well, it says he, Dr. Vivek Murthy, he wants schools, workplaces, and community groups to help people feel more connected with each other. That's a great idea. Those are good places to organize people. Into helpful groups, and it still though will come down to the people themselves. So if you're feeling lonely, reach out, get some help. If you know some around someone around you who is feeling lonely, maybe do them a big favor. Take the first step. Try to reach out to them and try to get them to come out and socialize a bit more. It's all about taking care of each other because we're all in this together. Hmm. So we here have seen a workplace and work. Ah, this workplace is a work place. That means community, that is community. So he wants schools, workplaces, and community groups to be able to help people feel more connected with each other. That means community, that is community. So he wants schools, workplaces, and community groups to be able to help people feel more connected with each other. That means community, that is community. So he wants schools, workplaces, and community groups to be able to help people feel more connected with each other. That means community, that is community. Ourselves included. It says, "What actions can we take in our homes or at school to avoid making people feel lonely, <laughs> or what can we do to help people who do feel lonely?" I think we should always talk to them. Absolutely. Or like, if you see if you see someone feeling not well,、mm -hmm. you can check on them by asking, "Are you okay? Yeah. Do you want to talk to me? I'm、sure. always here if you need to talk." I think that's really true. A lot of people might、mm -hmm. be having problems, but they're oh, I don't want to bother everyone with my little problem. Right. I don't, you know, I'll be embarrassed. I'll bring trouble to their lives. So that's why you can make the first step. Uh -huh. If you think someone's lonely, you make the first step. Reach out to them. I think another thing is that you know, often online with Facebook or whatever, we have like groups. You know, groups of video game fans or movie fans、yeah. or people. And if you know people who are in those groups, have your meetings, you know, offline instead of just chatting about your favorite thing、yeah. in some group. You know, say, hey, let's not chat in our group. Let's chat in a coffee shop or、yeah. something like that. You know, because. I mean, social media is great for connecting people, but often they don't take the connections outside of the online world. But if you do, you will be having real face-to-face, person-to-person、mm -hmm. contact, and that is the kind of thing that can really fight loneliness. So use social media as a starting point. And take all of that social media、mm -hmm. stuff you do, and try to turn it into real world stuff, because you will feel so much better than just sort of connecting to people online. Or maybe even have a, like a heart to heart conversation.、Yeah. I think that would think also be a lot better than like just shallow、sure. talks.、Right? Yeah, exactly. And having those real meetings and real friends、mm -hmm. that leads to more real communication. All right, guys, take care of yourselves, and most importantly, take care of each other. And we'll see you all back here sometime soon. Until then, bye bye. Bye. Vocabulary review. Warn. Jessie warned her daughter not to go to the beach when the typhoon came. Mental. While it's important to look after your body, it's important to take care of your mental health too. Signal. The dark clouds in the sky were a signal that it was going to rain soon. Extremely. I really want to be a doctor, but getting into medical school is extremely difficult. Decade. Our company has grown so much in the last decade. I hope it grows as much in the next ten years. Battle. In the winter, many wild animals have to battle the cold to survive. 智慧小补帖 Interaction. Well-being. Workplace. Community.